I'm DJ Psyched, and you're watching the Get Psyched YouTube channel. Let's get psyched about YouTube. This is on Hill's old terrarium. As you can tell, he's kind of big for this little space. I mean, when I got him, he was like, wow, like a fifth or a sixth of the size he is now. So yeah, he's definitely grown out of this little space. And today we're, we're going to move him into that big space over there that I need to finish setting up. I mean, I have everything ready. I'm just going to put it all together today. Um, the stuff that's in here for now is going to end up going in there until I can uh, get some more hides to replace them. They're not too small for him just yet. I think in the bigger space, he'll definitely do better with it. He loves that rock that he's standing on right now. Still, he goes in there, like he spends like 90% of his day in there. I'm really excited to put him in the new home, but first I'm going to feed him because I just kind of worry that switching him into the new home, he's going to be a little skittish and might not want to eat tonight. So I'm going to feed him before I put him in there so that I know he has a nice dinner and he has a, a whole day to settle into his new space before he has to eat again. I hope you enjoy the space on Hill. Amazing. You ready for the rest? Dinner time is over and it's time to set this thing up. This is a really big terrarium. It's the Exoterra 36 inch long. I was kind of debating between this and the size right under it. But after talking to a good few people and watching a lot of videos on it, I decided that On Hill could do just fine in this thing. It's kind of big, but I'm going to fill it up with plenty of hides and stuff. I do plan to continue upgrading it. I'm going to see how it looks when it's done. I'm going to show you all the things I have as I put them in and explain kind of like how I'm building this and what my future plans are. But, you know, it's really big and it's a lot bigger than I had anticipated. So, if you're thinking about getting the 36 inch, I mean, I'm no expert, I can't say yes or no, but a lot of people online, the logic is, in the wild, an animal like a leopard gecko is gonna have unlimited space. It's the fact that leopard geckos do like their hides, that's why a lot of people say you should keep them in something like a 20 gallon, because they, they don't really want open space. But, if you do have a big home like this, imagine it's like, it's like a leopard gecko in nature. Just make sure there's plenty of hides, Make sure that it's not wide open, and your gecko should be just about fine. That's the logic behind it, and I, I think it makes total sense, which is why I went with the bigger one. I give Angel plenty of hide to have plenty of space to go and grow. He's grown a lot, a lot since I first got him. Maybe his growth rate is completely normal. Never had a leopard gecko before, but I mean, if he ever gets really big, this place will be plenty big for him. And if he doesn't, the hides, adding decoration, changing things up through the years, he should still have a very nice life. <laughs> so that's that's what I want to give him. I want to give him a good life. I want to be able to change things up. I want to be able to give him all kinds of things for his enjoyment. So yeah, we're going to set this thing up. This is, like I said, 36 inches long. It's 18 inches wide and it's also 18 inches tall, I believe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it comes with this nifty background. I've already wiped down the interior and cleaned everything up so I can set it up now. I've already gone through yesterday. It literally took like an hour and a half to clean everything out, but yeah, it's time to set it up. This is, I'm pretty excited to give him a background because his other home was just boring. It's just all glass around and uh, so it's nice that he's going to have this background because he sometimes does try to like climb up on the glass and yeah. Now I am going with a pretty basic using a heat mat and his overhead lighting so that he has good temperatures. I do, of course, use a thermostat, and I have another thermostat and a hydrometer that I'm going to put into this terrarium. So I do monitor his temperatures closely. But a heat mat is what works for me right now, so I'm going to stick with it. I do want to do some more research on the DP projector like I talked about before, but for now, this, this is what I've got. is on Hill's place right now. I had to take some stuff out because I gotta put it in the new place. I'm gonna do this really fast so that on Hill hardly has to notice the difference. It'll be like a cage cleaning for him. Except he's going in a nice new home today. So yeah, let's do this. 
You can really tell by the fact that this thing takes up the entire size of the table. This is one big beast. And yeah, it was a hell of a beast to get up here. I kind of, I wish I had filmed me putting it up here because that was quite the journey. Now it's time to put on the heat mat and put all the supplies in. Now I've got the probe uh, and thermostat hooked up, so I'm going to see what kind of temperatures we can get it to a nice solid ground before I uh, start decorating. So once that heats up a little bit, I'm going to start putting things in so on hill can go in. The heat mat continues to heat up. I'm going to place down the carpet here because, I mean, I kind of want to get a reading of carpet anyway since that's what he's gonna feel. Alright, carpet carpet took a bit of playing around to get about right, but according to this temperature heat gun, we got about 90 to 91 degrees over here on the hot spot, so we're looking good. Uh, it's 77 at the coldest point, but we have a nice little little gradient that will get a little stronger with the overhead heating, so let's get to putting the stuff in. First and foremost we have this nifty little Roth cave that he's already, he's used to pooping in that in his other home in that same spot, so I'm going to leave it there, hoping that he picks up that cue again to do that. This is a really cool terrarium because it opens from the front, which will give me easier access to him. So I'm really looking forward to that kind of benefit. Also makes the setup a little easier. I've got this that I'm going to use over here on the warmer side. So he has two little climbing structures. This is his favorite little spot to sit on and get warm. So I'm going to put this where the heat mat is, since I already know that he likes to sit in it and get warm. This is his moist hide, so it's going to go up in the middle. There is a wet paper towel inside of that. So he can go up here and have a nice humid hide. Some other things. This is going to be his calcium bowl. He's also got a water bowl that I'll put in there in a second. He has that right now. Nifty little hammock. This was a gift on Hell got, so very excited for him to be able to use it. Now I'm actually, because of the background, I'm going to have to use um, this part right here, the door. So I just won't open this door, but I don't really need to open both doors at one time anyways, so... A few other decorations he's got. This nice grapevine that's going to go through his cold side, just to help fill up any empty space so he doesn't feel like he's got too much space around him. I'll see how he likes the leaves so far. I might trim them a little bit, but I think that looks good. I don't think he'll mind that. I'll try to keep the leaves on the cooler side though. Alright. Yeah, I might have to cut the leaves just a little bit, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, and as far as really checking his temperatures, I also have this Zoomed thermostat here that I'm going to be using to monitor the cold side since I have a thermostat on the hot side. And I can also, since it's a thermostat with probes, I can move it around and test the cold and the hot side. And in between from this, it did come with a hook, and I'll put that on later, but for now I'll just kind of have it here so I can check the cool. And this will also give me humidity. I'm just going to put his heat lamp and stuff on as I put him in. Last few items. I used this on his warm side of the other one. So I'm going to move it to his warm side here as well. Right in front of his warm hide. Because that's how he had it in his last tank. So nice little log to put right here. And I'll put his other log probably like right there or something. I'll move stuff a little bit. I get his other log in, but this is his water bowl. I'll put that in there first, and his calcium bowl could be back here. So that's kind of how his setup used to be, so that way he'll find his water really nice and easy. But let's get him in there. On he came onto my hand pretty willingly because I think he knows there's something very interesting coming for him. You ready, On Hill? There he is. <laughs> First steps in the new home. What are you going to do, on Hill? He's going to go into his trusty little rock. Amazing. And I definitely put that there because I knew that he'd find comfort in his favorite rock, even if he was in a new home. Alright, so let me just give you the last little bit of a tour here. <laughs> this is 
This was kind of hard to film because I was really, really focused on trying to make sure that I had the setup right for on hell and didn't miss anything. But yeah, this is his warm side. You've got that nice little rock hide, his moist hide in the middle here, and he's using the same old hide that he used to use. Um, hopefully he'll still poop in there because that's where I lay like a paper towel down for him to do that. Um, I'm going to fix up the thermostat and stuff in a second. But yeah, there's his hammock. He's got some, some green going on throughout here. Fill up the space and he's got a nice little log hide. And there he is. Man of the hour going on an exploration already. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed On Hell's new terrarium tour. I'm going to put his heat lamp on now and make sure all his temperatures and stuff are good and, and see if he likes it. So I'll probably insert some clips of him exploring, but thank you for watching and until next time, let's stay psyched. This is what we got fully set up with a ceramic heat lamp to give him some good temperatures on the hot side and then yeah here we here we go he's he's seeming to be enjoying the place I mean I've never seen him exploring so much but then again he's never had this kind of space to explore and it is nighttime now so you know I'm gonna turn off the lights in a second and he's, he's definitely gonna spend the night exploring which I'm really excited to see there's so much for him to explore, he's kind of just been going around and looking at everything, so yeah, that's, that's what it looks like all set up. This is the, uh, the Exoterra. People say it's about like a 40 gallon breeder, um, but it's 36 inches long and 18 inches back, and it's, it's beautiful. Like, the front opening is kind of amazing. I'm really already digging that feature a lot. On hell, you want to say goodnight? Thanks for watching. You have officially been inside of every hide in like the last two minutes. Does that mean you're having fun? I'm going to take that as a yes. Sorry, buddy.